All my shield friends, I hope everyone is having a great day today. I'm with you once again to give you a new workout. Today's workout, we're going to need two things, two hand weights. So you could be two bottles, two cans. If you have hand weights, you could certainly use two hand weights or dumbbells. Anything that has just a little bit of just a little bit of weight to it is what we're going to be using today. First, let's start with a little bit of a warm up. We're going to just shake out our hands, shake out our arms, shake out our upper body or hips, shake your legs, shake your feet. We'll put our hands on our knees. We'll take a big breath in and a big breath out. Big breath in, hold it, and a big breath out. Let's start with the legs today, and I have a new exercise for us to try. We're going to begin with a weight in each hand. We're going to put one foot to the back, one foot in front of us. We hold the weights in each hand and we just bend down and come back up we're basically putting the weights on the ground bending the knees one foot in front of the other we come down we come up we bend down we come up down and up when you go down make sure the knee does not go beyond the toe. So just put it out just a little bit in front of you and just keep the other knee just a little bit back behind you. It's called a lunge. Now, if you hold the weight this way, you can go down a little bit lower and come up. And let's just do two more. And last one. And we'll put the weights down, hands on the knees, we'll take a big breath in, down, we breathe in, and we'll breathe out. Okay, we're going to do that same exercise to the other side. So last time I put my left foot in front. So this time I put my right foot in front. My left foot goes behind me. We hold the weights, one in each hand. We bend the knees and we go down and up. We go down and up. Down, up, nice and slow and in control. Down. And up, always slow, always in control. Let's do a couple more. Last one. And with that, we'll put the weight down. We'll have a seat. Hands on the knees. We breathe in. We breathe out. We breathe in, we breathe out. Okay, we did the upper legs, the thighs. Now we're gonna do one for the lower legs or calves. We're gonna take a weight in each hand and we're gonna hold it on our knees like this or like this, whichever way you prefer. We put our feet flat on the floor. Now we bring our ankles up or heels up and down. The heels come up and down. We're working the calf muscles, the lower muscle, the lower leg muscles in the back of your leg. And down. And down. And down. Don't forget to smile. We'll do a couple more of these. one hold on top 
And we come slowly down. We'll put the weight down. Hands on the knees. We'll breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's do one for the waist right now. So we'll hold a weight and one in each hand, sitting down or standing up. Back straight, eyes forward. We lean to one side, come up and lean to the other. Go as far as you can comfortably go. Nice and slow. Works the waist, the core muscles, all the abdomens and the oblique muscles. Keep the back straight. A couple more. Last one. And we'll put the hand weights down. The hands are on the knees. We breathe in. We breathe out. We breathe in. We breathe out. Okay, let's do one for the lower back. We're going to stand. We're going to put the weights in our hand. We're going to bend the knees slightly and reach down. The feet are together this time. Well, not together, but not butt in front. They're side by side. Knees bent, slowly down and up. And slowly down, keep the back straight. We're using the muscles of the lower back to bring the bottles down, or the weights down, and up. Knees bent, back straight down, and slowly up. Knees bent, back straight, bend down. Come up one more, and we'll go down, and we'll come up. We put the weights down. We put the hands on the knees. We breathe in. And now. And breathe in. And out. Let's do one for the arms, for the biceps in the front. Front of the arms is the bicep muscles. Back straight. We slowly bend their elbows and we curl the weight up and down. We come up and down. If you want to make a little bit different exercise, you bring it with the thumbs coming up first. We were before doing the fingers, the palms coming up. Now we're going to do it with the thumbs coming up. In weightlifting in the gyms, this is called the hammer curls. It works the bicep muscles in a slightly different angle. And then the next one we could try is putting the back of the hands and coming up this way. If we go to the gym, this is called the reverse curl. And we'll do a couple more of these. And we'll put those down, hands on the knees, a big breath in, and out, and in, and out. Okay, we did the front of the arms, now let's work the back of the arms. So we pick up the cans, we're going to lean, <laughs> the cans, the, the hand weights, the little water bottles, whatever we had, we lean forward. We put the arms hanging at the side, we bring them up, and then extend them backwards. So they go backwards. They go look, looks like this, straight back. From the knees, back. Knees, back. Knees, back. 
knees, back. Very good exercise for the triceps, the muscles in the back of the arms. And with that, we'll put the weights down. Hands on the knees. We'll breathe in. Down. We'll breathe in. And out. Let's now move to the chest muscles. We hold the weights in each hand. We're gonna hug that big tree. We're gonna come around like a big circle, like we're hugging a big tree. When the cans or the water bottles or the hand weights get together, we squeeze. We squeeze tight. This is called isometrics. Isometric is when nothing's moving, but you're pushing resistance against resistance, force against force, strength against strength. In this case, water bottle against water bottle. And we push them together. Just push, push, push real hard and let go. Let's do that one more time. We hug the big tree. When the weights get together, we squeeze, we push them real hard. It's an isometric exercise. Muscle against muscle, hand against hands. Just push, just push them hard. Ah. And with that, we'll put them down. Hands on the knees. We breathe in. Breathe out. We breathe in. We breathe out. Let's go to the shoulders. We're gonna hold the, our weight back straight up to up to our shoulders. We come up and down. I like to do the alternating. Alternating is one at a time. All the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. Nice and slow. If you like, you can do them at the same time. Or if you want, you can do a couple with one hand and then a couple with the other hand, whichever you prefer. And we'll put them down. Hands on the knees. We breathe in. We breathe out. We breathe in. We breathe out. Okay, I want to show you a new one. And it's for the wrist. We do a lot of exercise for the wrist and the neck. It's important because we, when you're on your computer and you're like this a lot of the day, your, your neck can get sore and it can hurt your neck and you can hurt your fingers and, and, and your wrist by, by doing this computer motion too much. We have to do something to help the wrist and help the neck. So we're gonna hold a weight. We're gonna put our elbows on our knees. We're gonna go down and up. It's called a wrist curl. We go down and up. It's great for the wrists have to keep the wrists and the fingers, everything real strong. We'll do a couple more of these. And I have another new, <clears throat> another new one. And it's another isometric exercise. Isometric is force against force, strength against strength. Um, you're not really moving, but you're still moving. Isometrics. What we're going to do now, we're going to take our can, we're going to take our bottle, our hand weight, and we're just going to squeeze it. Squeeze it real tight. Your knuckles might even be changing color. You're squeezing so tight, but the can's not going anywhere. You're, you're moving it, but it's not moving. That's isometrics. That's a new word of the day, isometrics. And we squeeze real tight, and then we let it loose. Let's do that one more time. We're going to take our can or a water bottle, a hand weight, whatever we have it. We're going to squeeze it real tight. It's real tight. <laughs> and we'll let it loose. With that, oh, let's put that down. 
We'll just make some circles with our wrists and in the other direction. And let's wiggle those fingers and let's wiggle that thumb. Let's put our hands at our side. We're going to bring our shoulders up slowly and down and up and down and up and down. We're going to take our ear and try to touch our shoulder. We won't be able to, but we'll try. We're going to shake our head as if we're saying no. We're going to shake our head as if we say yes. We're going to take our nose, we're going to make a big circle with our nose. We're going to draw in one direction, a big circle, and then a big circle in the other direction. that we'll put our hands on our knees big breath in and a big breath out we're gonna do a triple breath that's three breaths in and one big breath out it's gonna look like this one two three and out One more, a triple breath. And with that, I wanna say my shield friends, keep staying strong, keep staying healthy and well. I'll see you all soon. Hands together and we shall say namaste. See you guys real soon.